Hey guys, my name is Belinda Pofu and welcome to another great episode of Unpacked. On today's show, we'll be talking all things hair with the founder of Own Your Crown, Nick Sklova. Hi, it's me, Belinda Pofu, once again. Welcome to another amazing show of Unpacked. Today, I have a phenomenal young lady with me. I'm not going to talk too much and I'm actually going to allow her to introduce herself. <laughs> herself. <laughs> Please introduce yourself to everyone. Um, hi everyone, I'm Nikki Ozova. I'm um, a creative entrepreneur. I just love expressing myself through hair and fashion and just, yeah, telling stories through hair. I'm sure you get this question constantly, so mm. I'm actually like, oh, should I ask, should I ask, but I have to ask, but I have to ask. Own your crown. Yes. How did that come about? So, firstly, it started like I was working at a corporate. I was doing like a nine to five, yeah. and I was just bored. I just wanted to release the creativity, and then I just decided to start a blog. And I chose on your like I, I I chose to speak about hair because of I saw that there was a lack of hair representation when it comes to creative hairstyles. Right. And at that time, um, there was a lot of like natural hair blogs that yeah. were growing that were booming. But I wanted just you know to showcase the kind of another kind of expression when it comes to hair. So would you say that you are now at a place where you have like surrendered to I guess God and to just if this is meant to be it will happen? Yeah. I think now because um like I've been working my nine to five, I think I've only stopped doing that whole nine to five uh three months ago just to focus fully on on yeah. your crown. Because before it was something on the side, you know, trying to balance the two. Um, also just to learn and gain new skills and yeah. from other jobs because I think when you're a creative you can do so many things you're not limited yeah, to true. one thing you know so I just wanted to uplift my skills in other ways so that I can take those skills and put it back to my business I you um, spoke about you like the business side of the creativity like mm. you touched on that a bit mm. would you say that own your crown is financially viable for you yes yes because before when i started it like uh, it wasn't about money yeah. for me it was just all about telling stories and showcasing you know how you can express yourself through your hair you know and people used to ask me so how are you making money how are you making money I'm like guys relax like i just started this thing let me build it yeah. and it's only was it this year yes this year that i'm like okay this is a business now so now i ventured into like um a pop-up hair salon um i do like your hats decorative hats mm -hmm. like i put like yes, hair extensions and wool so now it's more like a business now i'm yeah. like okay now i can see the vision I, i've always seen the vision but it's just that i needed to take some time to build the brand and let people know about it before i can be like okay here here's my brand buy it you know people yeah. need to understand who you are what you stand for then then you can start creating like business for you. I think for me it is because now I'm finding different ways of making money. Why not make up for? Yeah, yeah. Clothing. I think because with hair, you know, it's, it's, it's such a deep issue yeah. and we all have it. It's how we identify with ourselves. Na? And I just felt like the hair representation of our culture, especially the creative yeah. side, was not there anymore you know now it's too colonized now you know what i mean now we are lost into everyone's culture you know what i mean but we're not preserving our own so that's why i wanted to do those hairstyling workshops and also to upskill the the hairstylist skills like in, in, in like in terms of doing hairstyles and not do the same thing over and over again yeah. like yes you can do your straight backs your twist but there's other ways there's of more. there's more mm. so that like they can get to different industries now your production they can do tv magazines and all of that yeah. you know and not be and not only elokshini ekonemi and that's it so that's why i wanted oh, to do that that's beautiful mm. I'm very proud of you. Thank you and so much. It's been such a pleasure talking to you. Oh, um, that's now, it. Are we done? Yes, we no. done. <laughs> Time flies. It really does yeah. fly. Where can people find you um, on social media if they want to, like, you know? Yeah, get your hands up. 
So my um, business page is On Your Crown. That is O W N U R yeah. Crown C R O W N. And my personal one is N I X underscore I N D A. In my ex, mix in the mix, and mix in the mix. Yes, yes girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's the same for fa- no Facebook. I'm Nick's Lover, and Twitter is the same. Nick's in the mix on your crown, yeah. And my website is onyourcrown.com, but it's like own dash u r dash crown c r o w n dot com. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>you so much for joining us i hope you found the conversation as amazing as i did until next time bye